Hello again. Now the main stories in London. Detectives are offering a £20,000 reward for key information regarding the murder of a man in London 12 years ago. Errol McKenzie was shot three times at the Seymour Road playing field in Leighton on the 11th of April 2010. Footage shows Errol in a shop at 11.15 at night. He then travelled towards the park. The cash reward will be given to anyone with information that leads to the arrest and conviction of the killers. It's been 12 years now and it's way too long. So we need someone to, if they know anything, to come forward because these are dangerous people. Birthdays, Christmases, any family occasion, there's a massive hole and it hasn't been the same and it never will be the same. It's just been really hard and painful and it's, it's time that we get closure now. A woman has been taken to hospital following a bus crash in Westminster. Police officers were called to the scene of the crash on Abingdon Street just before 8 o'clock this morning. The woman was taken to a hospital in central London, but her injuries are not believed to be life-threatening. Climate protest group Extinction Rebellion say they're planning more direct action in the capital for later in the week. After blocking two of London's bridges yesterday, the group today are carrying out training sessions with supporters. They're also trying to speak to as many members of the public as possible. There's lots going on in the world, there is, but I actually credit people with a sense and ability and a responsibility to hold two things at once. Yes, times are hard right now, there is lots going on, but lots of people can also say we are in a serious emergency. We heard it from the United Nations Secretary General the other day. We are in a dire emergency, we need people to act, and I think people can hold that, and some people will join us, and we're asking them to do that. West End actors have snapped up their share of this year's Olivier Awards in the first in-person ceremony since the pandemic began. Winners include Elliot Levy, who won the award for Best Supporting Actor in a musical. He starred in the Kit Kat Club at the Playhouse Theatre. Eddie Redmayne was also awarded as Best Actor in a musical for the same production. Now time to take a look at the weather with Sally. Making the most of it, whatever the weather. Octopus Energy sponsors ITV London weekday weather. Hello there, a very good afternoon to you. I hope you're having a lovely day. It's warming up a little bit this week. Temperatures getting up to highs of 14 to 18 degrees. There's a touch of a breeze just taking the edge off them and some hazy sunshine around, mostly dry. Could get the odd shower this evening. As we go through the second half of the night, we are going to see some more showers moving through. There might even be the odd thunderstorm, but so much milder as we start the day tomorrow, maybe staying up into double figures overnight. As we go through tomorrow, we'll continue to see these showers moving through. The exact location of them a bit on certain still there'll be some brighter drier interludes but we could even get the odd isolated rumble of thunder a touch of hail and the temperatures just a degree down or so on today see you later on octopus energy sponsors itv london weekday weather just time to take a look at what's coming up on tonight's program we've been going for two years we you know that we've been on media on itv news you may remember these two brilliant Croydon mums who spoke to us in 2019 about their inclusive Christmas decorations. Well, they'll be back with us later to share their success on the investment show Dragon's Den. That's all from us for now. We'll be back at six. Bye bye. Now on ITV, the Duke and his dealers are in Wolverhampton for today's Dickinson's Real Deal. Rise of Recliner Chairs from Willowbrook sponsors everyday favourites.